Why do gay men hate Donald Trump? Hey, it's Prince of Queens, and I'm going to be discussing the topic of why gay men are afraid of Donald Trump on a live stream on this Wednesday evening, the 26th of April, on my channel at 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time with two gay YouTube personalities known as The Liberal Hammer and Very Valen. It should be an interesting talk, so come check it out. So, what problem do gay men have with Donald Trump? somebody asked me today. And my answer came down to something rather simple from my vantage point. Truthfully, I did not vote for Donald Trump, and he is by no means an ideal president for what I would want personally, though I will admit very openly that I did prefer him to Hillary Clinton. Regardless, when immediately forming my decision as to whether or not I would want Donald Trump to be president, the first thing that obviously came to mind was that he was running as a Republican, which made it automatically 100% impossible in my head that I might ever possibly support him. And I think most gay guys thought similarly. You see, I'm 35. And even gay guys younger than myself have been programmed from the time they first began realizing they were homosexual to view all Republicans as our mortal enemies, according to every LGBT or pro-gay media company imaginable. Republicans supposedly, at best, want to make sure gays can't marry, and at the worst, they want to supposedly send us to conversion therapy or make being gay a crime. In some cases, this is somewhat true. There legitimately are some very awful Republicans with prominent positions in the party, but Donald Trump certainly seems to have exhibited zero signs that he might possibly be one of them, aside basically from appointing Mike Pence as his VP, but even Pence's supposed anti-gayness has been ridiculously exaggerated if you look into the exact things he said and how long ago it was that he said them. So why is it that even after Donald Trump carried a rainbow flag on stage at a rally, after he specifically said that he doesn't think that gay marriage should be overturned by the Supreme Court, and he decided to uphold Obama's federal protection against LGBT people being fired from their jobs, why do gay men still hate Trump? Well, I could nitpick a bit and go tit for tat with all of the specific news stories that gay men are being force fed as an excuse to continue hating Trump, like Matt Bum's disgustingly dishonest write up about the Chechen concentration camp situation that he wrote for Slate where he doesn't mention the Islamic majority of the nation as the likely motivation for the gay persecution, but instead describes Chechnya's leader, then Putin, and then Trump as aggressively masculine rulers that are like three peas in a pod. So basically, according to Matt Baum, concentration camps happen in Chechnya, not because of Islam, but because of the ever-present threat of toxic masculinity. Fuck off. Now, I could go on to find more details about specific stories, like I said, but I think the idea is pretty simple, which is that gay men are generally fearful, distrustful, and vengeful towards assertive, egotistical, alpha male type straight guys. It's as simple as that. Is Donald Trump a great guy? I'm not saying that. But will these gay guys ever bother to investigate into his policies, his actual stances on gay issues, or his history in regards to his political alignments in the past? Absolutely not. They don't care. Gay men will not give Trump a chance because the vast huge majority of gay men grew up being picked on in school. When alpha beta pecking orders developed in elementary through high school, it was often the gay guys who got the short end of the stick when guys would pick fights with easy targets to prove they weren't pussies or whatever, and gay guys were very commonly the easy target. 
Often, kids would pick on gay kids to impress the more alpha males, and very rarely did the alpha males ever directly intervene and tell them to cut it out, at risk of sympathizing with the homo and appearing weak themselves. Some alphas probably picked on the gay guys directly. Because of that, most gay guys in high school find protection by making friends with as many females as possible, because the female friend group can work their girl powers over the guys to keep them in line, and from picking on the gay kid. It's kind of an authoritarian power dynamic in itself that the gay guys develop so often. You better not pick on me, or I'll get the girls mad at you. Also, if the teachers and administration are sympathetic to the gay students, the gay students will often end up cozying up to those authority figures as well. That said, gay men will always naturally side with female politicians as they associate women with safety. They will also naturally side with politicians like Barack Obama, who sound very kind and compassionate when speaking, even if he is doing all sorts of awful things like endless drone strikes and pushing major campaigns of propaganda on the American populace. The Democratic Party has always been the party of politeness and coming on super sweet to various minority groups, so they are the comfort zone for gay men. And when the gay populace gets spoiled with the feeling that politicians are supposed to act that way during an Obama administration, for example, these gay guys will be very resentful when they have to deal with a new type of politician. Not only that, but our new president is a loudmouth meanie like Donald Trump, who thinks on his feet during press releases and debates and is completely unpredictable, at which point the gay guys are reminded of the more untamed social environments that they had to live in during early schooling, where alpha men and their pack ruled more than the authorities and what people's general sense of manners tend to ask for. Basically, gay men are thinking to themselves, oh shit, who can I tattle to if he says mean things? What can I do? Seriously, that's basically what it is. Donald Trump's America feels more like every man for himself, yet again, to gay men. And that terrifies most gay men by itself. Donald Trump represents an inherent instability to the life gay men grew to feel comfortable with, which is the predictable nature of a political climate that placed them as a bit of a protected class. They feel that Donald Trump threatens their safety, not because he has a problem with gay men, because from all evidence, he absolutely has no problem with gay men. Rather, Donald Trump is not PC as gay men know it, and most gay men simply assume that this means he'll change what PC is to make it socially acceptable to attack gay men openly like it used to be. It's as simple as that for most homos. Drop me a comment, help me out on Patreon if you think I seem cool, and stay tuned.